I am not defined by where I was born. I am defined by where and with whom I was raised. I am defined by how I live my life. People might be surprised that the son of a pastor is in the situation in which I now find myself. But I think, but I think that this, but I think that it takes just such a person to make a, ne- a necessary difference to make things change. Perhaps it seems to you that I am caught in a bad situation, but the Bible tells me this. In the day of prosperity, be joyful, but in the day of adversary, adversary, consider. And that's in Ecclesiastics 7.14. In my own words, a day of sorrow is better than a day of joy, because through pain the heart is mended. It is through my difficulties that I learn. I have always known that each of us is here to be a history maker. This is true regardless of one, sits, of one station in life. All I can hope is that I serve as an example for others to understand the great injustice carved into the fabric of our, of our broken immigration system. I pray that my example helps pass the DREAM Act because it is the DREAM Act that will help others who find themselves in my shoes. I feel that this is the purpose that God has for me, and I will never fight his will. And I want to be able to be the one who steps up, the one who can be the voice for those other thousands of dreamers who cannot speak out for themselves. Sometimes one needs difficult times to reestablish one's faith, even the faith that one might believe they already had. In the words of John Foreman, a committed evangelical Christian and the lead singer of Switchfoot says this, Two things you have told me. You are strong and you love me. So why should I worry? You know what I need. I know that this is all God's plan and all the glory is his alone. I thank God for letting me be his conduit, the vessel through which he may be exalted. I thank all of you who are working to help both me and others like me, you know the truth behind my situation. I leave you with, I leave you now with a quote from the Christian musician Brandon Heath. There is hope for me yet, because God won't forget all the plans He's made for me. He's not finished with me yet. God bless all of you, Bernard. <laughs>